Empty yourself solely onto her for as long as you both shall live. I do. Okay, good answer. <laughs> no one has ever answered any other way. <laughs> <laughs> are the hands of your part, young, strong, full of love. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. They are the hands that will hold you countless times white and tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, tears of joy. And these are the hands that even when they are wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you that same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Cam and Mike, I hope this day has been the wedding you perfectly dreamed of. Cam, I hope you know how proud I am to call you my best friend. You are mama bear, tough, terrifying, but also caring, thoughtful, and sweet in a very special way that's reserved for only a few people. You look amazing today and no one deserves happiness more than you. Now for Mike. <laughs> my name is David Beatty and Mike Laisi is one of my best friends. He's my bro DiMaggio, my bro Pesci, my bro of Stalin. And that's a term that gets bambied about so much nowadays that it becomes pointless in a world where your best friend is anyone who appeared in your latest selfie or any guy who happened to pick up the last bar tab, Mike really earns the title. He is just so abundantly kind that a person can't help but be constantly reminded how lucky they are to have him in their lives and to have him on their side. I could talk all your ears off with, um, with stories of what a great guy Mike is. That's only half of what we're here for. Uh, imagine my surprise when he introduced me to Cam. It, it was immediately apparent she had a different energy. From <laughs> jello shots to rafting bars, ski trips, Cam not only kept up with Mike, but she pushed him to higher peaks. You two are an amazing team. You bring out the best in each other and are best friends and partners for life. It's been an honor to have a front row in your relationship. <laughs> I've never been a big believer in the whole soulmate thing. But now, knowing Mike and Cam for as long as I have, for as long as they've known each other, I can tell you with 100% certainty, soulmates are absolutely not a thing. People are not naturally perfect for each other because people are not natural. But people can become perfect for each other when they love each other enough to make changes for one another, to become the best versions of themselves for the other. And that is what they've done, and that is what they continue to do. Mike and Cam are continually becoming better individual people. They're making changes in their lives to make themselves the best versions of who they are. They're doing it for each other. There's a word for that. It's love. I have had the pleasure of watching their love grow throughout the years. From taking on a project house, they have turned into a home filling it with their beloved Airedales. The future is exciting for Mike and Cam. I can't wait to see the next chapters this will bring. So here's to friends who change your life and my two friends becoming husband and wife. <laughs> I had no idea when I showed up to our first date that I was not only meeting my soulmate, but my future wife. I was also unfortunately going to lose the first of our many, many golf battles. <laughs> you are one of the most driven and most capable people I've ever met. Between your woodworking, your crafting, your willingness to jump into any physical activity, I'm always impressed. Well, I never thought ten I never thought I would be marrying the guy who showed up to our first date in cargo shorts and high white socks. But <laughs> here we are. I wouldn't want it any other way. 
throughout the last 10 years, you've been my best friend, my life partner, and my biggest support, and I couldn't be my own. You've shown me what true love is, and that you are committed to our lives together. I'm honestly so lucky to have found such a perfect person to spend the rest of my life with. Since that fateful mini golf date, you've inspired and helped me grow as a person in every facet of my life. I am proud of the man that I am today, standing in front of you, and that is in large part a credit to you. My love for you is effortless, and everything I do is for you. Life has thrown a lot our way in the last decade, but I truly feel we are stronger than, than we have ever been, and getting married today is just what we've been working towards. Mike, I love you more than anything. Well, after the dogs, of course. I take you as my wife, with every strength and not a flaw as far as the eye can see. I vow to love, honor, and cherish you for as long as you both live. I love you more than anything, and I couldn't possibly ask for a better partner to do it all. A better wife. I can not only not wait to be your wife, but I can't wait to get on your nerves and make you laugh for the rest of our lives.